Hello, my name is Tony Southwell and I'm just days away from heading down the Great Divide mountain bike trail on my specially made bike with all its backpacking gear. 4,500 kilometers from here in Banff uh, down to the Mexican border. All kinds of terrain, all kinds of people, all kinds of adventure. It'll be challenging, but it'll be a heck of a lot of fun. Well, it, it started with me, you know, having a real passion for riding bikes. That's number one. Tools, tire tubes, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, all of that stuff's here, that's, and that's always been here, and that's heavy stuff, so it sits in the middle of the bike down low. My name's Jillian Curry. Um, I am Tony Southwell's girlfriend, and that's why I'm talking to you. The nice thing about it is, is you've got an SOS button under this cover here, and if you press that, it goes out to an international rescue association. They relay it to the local service, and then they come and get you. I'm nervous. I'm gonna be watching the blue dot, tracking him all the way on his spot device. The trail I'm doing is called the Great Divide Mountain Bike Trail, and it just happens to be the you know described as the longest off-pavement you know biking trail in the, in the world. I guess they are calling it that, and uh, it's 45, 4,600 kilometers. And and I thought, wow. So he's leaving with these two Australians, and you know there's a flurry of taking pictures. Everyone had to take their, their pictures with the GoPros and. And then it's like, boom, they're gone. So it was sort of anticlimactic, the farewell. Like, we hugged and then boom, they're gone. It was sort of like, you know, I was thinking, oh, am I going to cry or something? But no, it was sort of like, oh, yeah, there they go. The emotional experience I had was just, it was just this big void. It was like I was leaving and I was going to this unknown and I had no idea if who and what I was leaving behind was going to be something I'd see again. Tony isn't racing it, he did, he's just touring it. He's touring this, the same route that these races go on. Okay, here it is, our first ordeal. The bridge is out crossing the first river, 10K into this event. This is from the flood last year. It's, just, it, it's good and there's a ladder on the other side. So, alrighty. First evening on the Divide. Fell short in miles, but what we lost in miles we made up for with this. It's just beautiful here. I guess my fears would be um, just hearing, so the, these racers that have started a week ago, just hearing the conditions out there, and you know, many of them have already dropped out due to injuries, um, you know, knees blown out, ankles, both of them uh, sp sprained really badly from post holing in the snow. Um, I'm worried about the weather. Showing off in the snow equals first flat. What a dummy. plan the adventure back so I'm driving down to pick him up to make sure he doesn't keep going into Mexico. This describes a secret. Right here, the very deep corner goes in the very bottom. And what do we find? We find this. What is this, you might ask? This is my secret. actually is to miss somebody <laughs> you know they go away and you miss them that is that is a good thing <laughs> and uh, so I was kind of you know all at the same time while I was missing him I was like that's incredible to have someone that you miss and that you really appreciate being there 
Stopping for lunch. We start our climb now. Here we are, stopped by a beautiful creek. Matt has uh, decided that he's going to go croc hunting. But uh, I tried telling him we don't have any crocs here. The only crocs we have you put on your feet. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a goof. I'm a bit of a... Um, I'd say I'm a bit... Sort of, I'm just a completely hyperactive, goofy guy. I'm always trying to get people laughing and being silly and doing stuff. And... Okay, we're over the second divide pass today. It's beautiful, it's hot, it's nice riding. Interesting people out getting ready for the weekend. The spot tracker sends me a, sends us to a spot every 10 minutes. And I, I wasn't that obsessive. I wasn't checking it every 10 minutes, but um, you know, every couple hours, definitely a daily ritual. Two things fascinate me. One is people who can really push themselves beyond their physical limits. Yeah. And, uh, and also people who, um, who can just get away and spend a lot of time where they're disconnected, which is not something we do often now. Now, I don't know who you believe put it all together this thing we call Earth, whether you think it was Buddha, or God, or Oprah, or just a collection of things coming together, but why is it conspiring against me today? Every time I'd start to ride, the sun would come out. Every time I would take a break, the sun would go away. Holy crap. 25 kilometers, a feeling like I've been probed by a group of clumsy, vindictive, bitter, and malicious aliens. Uh, we may have some issues because the boys are having back injury. I'm not sure what they're capable of, so it may come to a point where I go off on my own. It's a bit frustrating, but that's the way it is. Today we'll see that from here we got to go over to here. But now I'm in Idaho. I'm in Montana. I'm at Red Rock Pass. Idaho, Montana. These are the mountains. We're halfway up here. We're going to climb 10 kilometers up to the top here. This is Union Pass. This is almost 10,000 feet. Then we're going to go up and down over the mountains. And as you see, we lose elevation. And then at the end, we get down to Pinedale, 130 kilometers away. So, here, up to the crest, Union Pass, zoom, 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 pedal, 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 down to here. And then, we have a day off, and we We eat. Hello. Well, it's official. Um, the boys that I started riding with in Banff from Australia, have had to pull the pin here in Pinedale. And I knew what the big challenges were along the route for the racers, and one of the first ones was uh, the Great Divide. It's a high alpine desert basin that's, uh, you know, it's about 230 kilometers to get through it from the beginning to the end in Wyoming. I got up on the basin and it was stunning. And I thought, you know, I'd like to camp up here. But after about two hours of the same thing, I thought, oh goodness, I'm just getting through this thing. I just pedaled, drank my water, pedaled, conserved my water, pedaled, pedaled, pedaled. And, uh, you know, I hit the pavement before it got dark and I had about maybe 20 kilometers, mostly downhill, on a pretty busy paved road into Rollins. And I got through there and it was uh, one of those things when I was pulling in to Rollins, I thought, I did this. I gotta tell you, right now, if someone was to drive up and say, listen, 
throw that stuff in the truck, let's go back to Calgary, let's call it a day. I'd be tempted. Anyway, miserable day. You pass, kicked my... That's all I got to say about that. I knew that he didn't need me to say to him, you can stop whenever you want to, or I'll come get you wherever you are. I knew he would know that. So I just said, you know, I'll be at the end. You need to, uh, you know, I'll be there at the end. And so I'll meet you there. As I drove from Calgary down to here in the last three days. So my eyes are bloodshot and my voice is hoarse and I'm tired, but I'm ready to get him. <laughs> this is where I fall down. <laughs> oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love you. <laughs> you. Did you ride 100 miles an hour for the last little while? We did it. You did it. No, we did it. You got me here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I was going fast. <laughs> I don't want to just own the summer. I don't want to own the winter. I don't want to own the fall. I want to own life. I want to have an own life project. And I want you as my partner. <laughs> you got that. I know I do, honey. <laughs> but, but I want for real. You got I want that. you here. I want you with me. I you. <laughs> you are insane. I'm serious, honey. <laughs> I want you as my partner in my life project, my own life project. And I want you. Will you marry me? Of course, I already have. I <laughs> <laughs> and in this little box is a ring, and it's a rough cut diamond. It's raw, it's black, but like our project, if we put time and energy into it, it'll be awesome and brilliant. And please, be my partner in this thing. Marry me. <laughs> oh God, I love you. <laughs> yes!